welcome back, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, how are y'all? Put your, put your hands in the air. Nothing on that beat, no. Okay, before you guys bombard me with questions, I have not been on YouTube for a very long time, and it's for many reasons. Can y'all hear that? They're, they're working outside, fixing the road. I'm trying to film a mother freaking video. Can y'all like chill? Thank you. Keep the noise to a minimum. Oh, damn it. I think I broke this. There's a guy outside. Oh, please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Oh, thank God. So yeah, most of it was because I was going through some stuff um, and I'm back at uni. So that's why you guys can't see this beautiful face, you know, uh, all the time. But I will try to upload more often. Before you guys say anything about my shirt, yes, it's, it's cute. And yes, it's a guy's shirt. Who? Ooh, did she buy a baggy shirt to look like she has a boyfriend? The answer is yes. And with that icebreaker comes today's video. Okay, so something really inspired me to make this video. And I know out of all people, I'm not the one to say it because I'm single. And giving you guys advice is like, um, she's single. Why is she giving advice? Well, first of all, I know things. I know some things. Okay, so today's video is going to be basically about... What things turn girls off? And I know this video is going to piss some guys off, but the truth is, it's out there. It should be out there. And because it's not, it should. And we're going to start with the first turn off. The first turn off is your streaks. First of all, if you are a complete stranger to a girl and you send her pee pee photos and pee pee nudes and pee pee everything, then you really need to get a life. You need to sort your life out or have your dick removed out of your body. Why? Because it's irritating. First of all, if a girl does not ask for your photos, then don't give it to her. No one wants to see that, honey. There are times when it's sexy and it spices things up, but other times it's really annoying. Because like, it's not something a girl wants to wake up to. You know, if you know a girl, a girl wants to wake up, you know. A girl wants to wake up. And the first thing she wants to do is not just drink water and brush her teeth. She wants you to, to send her a streak, okay? Not of your pee pee, but you saying, oh, good morning, gorgeous. Oh, good morning, lovely. As cheesy as it sounds, I promise you it's going to make her day. But when a girl wakes up in the morning, she doesn't want to go on her phone. Okay, go on her phone and see a random nude from you. She doesn't want to see that. It's not attractive. Turn off number two is if a girl really likes you or you like a girl, please stop sending her these photos. And send her a face, a full face of you. And I'll give an example because you guys need it. Because clearly, your game in selfies is so is so down there. And us girls, and <laughs> we're famous for like you know, good photos, you know, decent photos more than you guys because we put more effort into photos. Also, I just realized that I was talking about peepees in this video, and my Lord and Savior is on that wall. But Lord Jesus, I'm only trying to give them advice. I'm sorry, I'll continue. So, if you're a guy and you send girls that photo, then honestly, you might as well just delete the app and move on with your life. Because girls who are interested in you, or if you're interested in a girl, you need to actually make the effort. Not send her a jawline or a nose pick um, or a half face. I don't care who you are. If you are literally the son of a queen, and you send a half selfie or a jawline just like then might as well just quit your whole life also hypothetically i mean not like princess 
will do that. I don't think princes do that. Anyway, maybe they could. Anyway, back to the video. Number four, number four, turn off number four. Turn off number four is if you hit a girl up on Snapchat or Instagram, but I'm mostly talking about Snapchat. If you hit up a girl and you ask her what are you doing or what are you up to, I swear, I swear, the girl is probably thinking, I want to block this guy. Or she's thinking, I wish I had a voodoo doll so I could stitch its mouth up. But then again, that's just me. Anyway. Like, you guys need to put more effort into it, not just like, oh, so what are you doing? I swear to you, I swear to you, nothing new. Nothing new. If you think that she is in Egypt, jumping on the pyramids like a castle. When you ask a girl, what are you doing? I feel like you're asking, so what What have you been up to? Have you been traveling? Have you been to the pyramids? Have you... Have you traveled the world? Are you exploring right now? Yeah, you know what she's doing? You know what she's doing? She's skydiving in Hawaii right now. She's drinking wine in Italy and going on a romantic date with someone that actually asks her, how has your day been going? How are you? Is anything been travel troubling you today? Do you want to talk about it? She's going out with that dude. Not the dude that asked her, so what are you up to? <laughs> because I swear to... I'm gonna bring shit shit to this video. Turn off number five. We girls are less visual than you guys, okay? So what I mean by this is that it's scientifically proven that males get more turned on or are visually stimulated by females than females are stimulated by guys. So for us, we're, we're like hard creatures to understand. We are more complex than you guys. You guys just like visuals and stuff. Like seriously, if you see boobs, then oh my God, you're instantly turned on. Whereas for us girls, we are visually turned on by bibs too. No, I'm just joking. We are more turned on by a guy's mind and how you guys like talk to us. If you're a guy that actually asks a girl um, about herself, not just or oh, send nudes, bobs and vagana, then you will honestly have so many females because you will know the right way to talk to a girl. Whereas a guy that just hits you up when he's bored or lonely or for a booty call, they're going to be turned away. Now, the next turn off for a girl is that if you are talking to multiple girls and letting us know, so you're like literally putting it out there that you're talking to six girls while you're talking. <coughs> Uh, is that the coronavirus? I hope not. Lord Jesus Christ. If it is, and you're willing to accept me to heaven, take me now. If not, keep me on this earth. And you let her know that you're talking to like every girl on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, then you might as well just go to a mirror and start talking to yourself because that's the only person who will want you. Get a life. Like seriously, get a life. Do something with your life. Go, go study. Go invent a new treatment for coronavirus. Use your time wisely. No, you guys, you guys are amazing. You guys are lovable. We appreciate you. We can't um, reproduce without you. Thank you guys for watching till the end. If you're watching this right now, I thank you because it means you actually watch all my videos and you support me. So I'm very thankful. Thank you so much. I'm going to be sending you guys some tea. No, I'm just kidding. But that's all for today. DM me on Instagram and let me know if you guys want me to make um, the turn-ons for girls. And let me know if you want the guy's perspective. And if, if you guys want that, please message me ideas. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to support this YouTube channel. Share this video with your friends. Um, guys, make sure you turn post notification on so you know when I post a video. Alright, that's all for today. Like and subscribe. Okay, bye.